tall Captain Josh. Yes, first mate Claire. I can't wait till the day we're sailing the seas in our own, uh, what's another word for ship? Uh, yeah. Boat? <laughs> yes, in our own <laughs> boat. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but before we do that, we're gonna have to find a cannon for the boat. And where are we going to get a cannon? No idea. Hmm. Ahoy! Ah, this one looks like a fine specimen. Let's take this one. It seems to be stuck, Captain. Now let's find another. Oh, where can we? Ahoy! Ha-ha! Yes! Yeah! There it is, yes. the cannon! Let's, let's get it! Ha! 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 These not working. swords don't work at all! Ha! Hey! There's a there's a door back there! Let's get the door! Ha! Arg, mateys, it's Krusty Christy O'Grady, <laughs> the keeper of the cannon! Yes, and Krusty Christy. Yes? Why is this cannon still in water? Well, it has to be in water. This is a special cannon that came from the shipwreck of Captain Kidd. But if we took it out of the water now, it would rust and fall apart so quickly that it wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to use it or see it at all. So, but it's not just in water, it's in very special water. We have it in a tank with about 700 gallons of water that we've added about 130 pounds of sodium carbonate, or soda ash. And what that does is raise the pH level of the water to a, a very high level that allows the electric current that's in the water to have less resistance. So the treatment that we're doing, called electrolytic reduction, Urgh, works words. even better. Yes, what does that do, electrolytic reduction? Well, electrolytic reduction is a big word for saying that we're trying to remove chlorides out of the iron, out of the cannon. Chlorides. Mm. Because the chlorides are what make it rust really fast. And if we can move those out of it, then it'll be stable, the metal will be stable. Mm. So we have a negative charge that goes to the cannon. We have a positive electric charge that goes to this plate on the bottom called the anode. And with the electrolyte, with the water having a very high pH, it actually allows the chlorides to move out of the cannon and attach themselves to the anode plate. So are you saying that there's electric current running through this water? I, I am. So if you stick your hand in there, will you electrocute yourself? Well, try it. Try it yourself. I'm going to let you try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. You okay? Oh, you're all right. It's a very low electric current. It doesn't hurt you. Then let me ask you this, Krusty Christie. Yes. We be needing a cannon for our ship. How long is it going to take for us to get that cannon? Well, it doesn't, it's not a quick treatment. It takes about five years altogether to get all of the salts out of the cannon. Oh man. We still You'll be got, an old man by then. I'm 74 years old. We've still got almost three years left to work on this cannon. No, oh, man. Boomer. Let's find another cannon. Man. Thanks, Christy. Sorry. Thanks, Christy. It's I cool. Am. Hi, we're here with Rachel R. Deal. <laughs> Scientist here. That's right. Now, uh, Rachel, Krusty Christy was saying some things that we didn't quite understand. Put this in our terms, please. Ah. Basically what's happening is that there is an electrical current going through the water. If you notice, I have a battery. It has a positive and negative charge. Right. And off of that is coming some wires. And if I put them together, ha-ha! Light came on. Yes. Light came on. But if I put it in regular water, oh, oh, nothing, nothing was, happens. Not However, I have some water here with soda ash in it, just like in the tank. Like right. the tank at the, yes, ah, with the cannon yes. inside. Now see what happens. Oh! So it's electrified water, just like with the cannon. Yes. I see now. That helps us explain the process. Maybe we can speed it up somehow. We're one <laughs> step closer to getting that cannon out. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, Krusty. Yes. We've decided to take it. Yes. We've changed our minds. We'll wait three to five years. Yes. And what? then we'll do some shooting. <laughs> you can't have it. Huh? This, when this is finished, when the treatment's finished, it'll go back to the Dominican Republic to be displayed. Oh, man. So we can't even shoot it? You can't. Once it's done, it'll be stable, but no more shooting. I guess it's still pretty cool to have it here at the yeah, Children's Museum. And at least all day, those kids can see it. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Come by any time and see this camera. We'll be here for about three to five years. It will. Awesome. All right. We'll see you next time on this week's WOW!